What's up guys, it's your boy Andre, and on this channel, we teach the language of Jamaica. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing. Well, today, in this video, if you are brand new to Jamaica and Patwa, I'm going to show you one word that you can use in three ways to have you speak in Jamaican by the end of this video. So, stick around. Okay, so welcome back to Chat Patwa, guys, the channel where we teach the language of Jamaica and we attempt to preserve the Jamaican culture. So as we were saying before, there's one word that I want to show you that you can use in three ways to help you get started speaking Jamaican. But before we get into that, I just want to feature this t-shirt that I'm wearing and it's from Proud Jamaicans. Check them out on Instagram and they also have an online store with a lot of merchandise. So make sure you go out there and show them your full support. Okay, so let's get into the video, but if at any time you feel the pace may be too slow, I've posted the links above me where you can go ahead and check out all of our classic lessons if you want to skip ahead, as well as in the description, all the additional resources that we offer. Alright, so since I believe that every language that you learn starts with you, we're going to look at the word in Jamaican Patwa that eliminates the use of I, me, and my, and that is the word me. Luckily for this video, I brought along a few Jamaican natives so you can hear the differences in how we pronounce each word. Me. 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 So the first way in which we use me, whenever it shows up in front of a verb, it means I. So for example, me know, me have, me want, in English would be I know, I have, and I want. Here are some more examples of when me means I. Me no. Me no. Me Okay, so me also pairs with your current state of being, eliminating the need to say I am. So if you're happy, hungry, or tired, you would simply just say me happy, me hungry, or me tired. Here are a few more examples of where this applies. Me tired. Me hungry. Me tired. Confused. Me tired. Me happy. The second way in how we use me is when it shows up in front of your belongings. At that point, it means my. So, for example, my car, my house, it would be my car, my house. My house. Okay. My house. My car. My lens car. Okay, so let's test what you got so far to see if you're able to follow along. For example, me know me tired and need me food. If you got I know I'm tired and need my food, congratulations. If you're not able to follow, try to rewatch this part of the video until it becomes clear. The third way we use me is when it follows for, to, or a verb, and then it means me. The word for for or to is fi or fa, but we'll get into that in the next video. For example, good for me or nice to me would be good for me or nice to me. Fimi. 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 Okay, so let's recap using all three instances of what you learned so far with each iteration of the word me and what they mean. Makar is good to me. Me have to make maintenance, me priority. If you got my car is good to me, I have to make maintenance, my priority, congratulations. If you're still having trouble, you may have to rewatch the video until it becomes clearer. Okay guys, so congratulations in reaching the end of your first lesson in speaking Jamaican. If you don't wanna wait for the next lesson, you can check out the description where you'll find links to more resources such as the classic lessons and where you can purchase the book in all formats on Amazon. So thanks again guys for hanging out with me. I'll catch you on the next one and until next time, take it easy.